Hello, good morning. Welcome to Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional and Spiritual Breakfast with Reverend Mike Eniola. Welcome to Thursday, the fifth day of January 2023. Open your mouth this morning and be saying Amen as I pray for you and bless you. Today, I want to pray that there shall be multiple celebrations in your life and home this year in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know what this message is for, but I hear in my spirit that the Lord will cause celebrations upon celebrations to occur in your home this year in the name of Jesus. What the enemy thought it can never be done again, the Lord will change the tide, the Lord will change the narratives, the Lord will change the situations and make the impossible to become possible for you in Jesus' name. I don't know what the enemy have concluded about you, but the Bible tells me that with God, nothing shall be impossible because with God, all things are possible. I pray for you this morning. Even as you are hearing me and you are saying, Amen, every impossibilities give way for possibilities in your life. <clears throat> in Jesus' name, I command that whatever the enemies have written concerning you and against you, cancel today. In Jesus' name, as we all go out today in peace, by the authority and the mercy of the Lord, we shall all return back home in peace. Nothing will, nothing will block your way today, and no enemy will double-cross you. In Jesus' name, you are blessed and you are lifted. Somebody shout, Amen. I believe as I receive. Praise God. We appreciate God today. It's Thursday. The fifth day of January, but the fourth day of our ongoing fasting and prayer program. <clears throat> we thank God for the way and manner in which God has been answering our prayers. I have one testimony I just want to take this morning. One testimony alone. I'm going to take it and say testimony. He said, indeed, God showed up for me. Kindly read my testimony, sir. I sent you a prayer request on the 8th of November 2022, concerning my place of business that was sold off, and I was to vacate the place by December 31st, you replied me that God will show up for me, and I responded, Amen. I had people test I had of how people testify, I had people's testimonies of how God showed up for them on this platform, and I always keyed into it. After a month, on the 9th of December 2022, I met a man whose father had some flat very close to me on my way home from clinic one day. I greeted him and I passed by. The Holy Spirit said I should go and collect his number and discuss my, my issue with him on WhatsApp. I felt reluctant that I just greeted him. I just greeted the man on the street, but I later obeyed. I went back to him and collected his number. He also was he, he was also reluctant because he didn't know much of, about me. I told him where I live because he, he knows my landlady, so he gave me his number. I chatted I chatted him and explained my intention to him. He told me they would get back to me. He responded a day later that I should see his father. Then on the twelfth of December, twenty twenty two, the Lord gave me a better place for my for, for my business that even all my clients were like saying, this is better. The father allowed me to do all things I needed to put in place without dropping a penny. He said, bring in, uh, bring in your teams and to come and work for you. I tidied up the place, painted the place without a cover. He also asked me all I wanted to be adjusted in the apartment. I packed most of my things in and was still asking him to give me his account details to drop some amount. As he even said, I should pay him as convenience as I could. I looked up, I looked up, and I broke down in tears to appreciate God that it, that it is it is only Him who can do this. Thank you, Reverend, for your timely messages, responses, prayers, and testimony readings that strengthen other people's faith and prophecies. May your anointing never run dry. Heaven at last, in Jesus' name, Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. We thank God for what the Lord is beginning to do in our lives. He will do much more in Jesus' name. Now, for our good people in Sokoto, by the grace of God, 
the books don't create that mess and our prayer uh, prayer guide for the fasting and prayer is on its way they're on their way to Sokoto now today we're going to be uh, putting the number of our contact person in Sokoto who is going to help us to serve our people in Birinikebi and Zamfara you know to get their own contact I mean to get their books so we appreciate God also our good people in Umwaya we have one of our daughters there whose number is going to be pasted today also for our people in Abia State you can contact her she has her books don't create that mess and the prayer book for the prayer and fasting to God be the glory our people in Akure you can start calling your contacts now the books are already in Akure as I speak this morning though I was told I've been told that there's just limited copy available so please start making calls uh, or you go to the Ministry of Works after you have called the number or whichever direction they may ask you to come. The Lord bless you. I also want to tell us that this prayer, uh, the, the daily prayer, is also on our mobile application. Even though, though the one on mobile application is just being posted a day, it's not like the one you get on the website that you can download. But you can follow us as we, as we pro progress. So if you want to download our app, just you know, go to Google Play Store, just type Hour of Destiny, you download the app, you will get along with whatever we are doing. To God be the glory. Let me also make this announcement to my good people in Obajana. Obajana is a very close town to Lokoja here. That is where we have Dangote uh, Cement Factory. I will be ministering at First Baptist Church, Obajana, this coming Sunday by 3 p.m., to round up the Universal Week of Prayer of Christian Association of Nigeria, Obajana Unit. So if you are around that Aziz, or you can just meet us at First Baptist Church, Obajana, on Sunday by 3 p.m. to round up the Khan Universal Week of Prayer. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Now today, the topic that is before us from our prayer book is, Don't belittle your gift. Don't belittle your gift. And the Bible reading for today is 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 14. 1 Timothy 4, 14, which says, Do not neglect, I'm reading English Standard Version, Do not neglect the gift you have, which was given you by prophecy when the council of elders laid their hands on you. This is Apostle Paul telling his young, prof, his young son in the Lord, Pastor Timothy, never to neglect the gift of God inside of him. So, exhortation. Whenever you see a big tree, remind yourself that it began as a tiny seed or plant. What you have as a gift today may seem small, but when God blesses it, it will grow. Appreciate that little gift, that little shop, that little money or house, and keep trusting God to make it big for you. Don't be like the man who buried his talent or gift probably because it was small. I think that message is very explicit. Don't belittle the gift you have. Don't belittle the money, that small money your husband gave you to start business. Don't say, what is this? Is this the amount your equal, your mates are giving to their wife? Don't say that. Don't belittle the thing. The Bible say, even though your beginning might be small, your later end shall be greatly increased. I charge you this morning, wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice, there is a gift inside of you, whether spiritual or physical. Don't neglect it. Steer it off. Find that gift to become a big flame. That is the gift that, is going to, that God is going to use to announce you tomorrow. Don't belittle your gift. It has a great reward that is going to bring to you tomorrow. Prayers for today. Prayers for today. We have five of them. Number one, say, Lord. Give me the gift or gifts that will announce me to my generation. Yes. Lord, give me the gift that will announce me to my generation. I was telling my wife a few days ago, I, after the death of Pele, I said it was never a president. It was never a United Nations Secretary General. But this man died. He was born as nobody. But because of his chosen career, because of the gift and the talent given to him from heaven, all over the world, the death of Pele was celebrated and still, and is still being celebrated. So don't neglect your gift. So you are going to pray and say, Lord, please give me the gift that will announce me to my generation. Number two, whatever is called evil news this year, 
I reject it. Yes. Lord, whatever is called evil or negative news, this year is not my portion. Number three, I proclaim peace of God upon my life, upon my family and the land where I dwell. Yes. I proclaim the peace of God upon my life, upon my family and my land. Number four, please pray for the forthcoming elections in Nigeria. Pray that the election that is coming up February and March, that God will help us to get it right, that Nigeria will not go from top to bottom again, but that the Lord will choose right leaders for us. And not only to pray, ready to vote. Then lastly, pray for divine provisions for you and your family this year. Pray for divine provisions this year. I join my faith together with yours. I pray that this year, in a miraculous way, God will provide for all your needs. He will provide everything you will need this year, both at individual level and collectively and as a family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for the elections coming up in our country, that the Almighty God who rules in the affairs of men will take over and take charge, and the election shall be peaceful, and God's own candidate, God's own will, will emerge. In Jesus' name. I pray and I proclaim the peace of God upon your life. I proclaim peace of God upon your family and upon the land where you dwell, where you reside. I proclaim peace of God in Jesus' name. I decree that whatever is called evil news or negative news, unpleasant news, will never come to you this year in Jesus' name. And I decree that the gifts that will announce you to your generation, heaven release it to you today in Jesus name. I decree into the life of everyone that as today open so also the blessing, the door of blessings open unto you in Jesus name. You are blessed. Please visit our website and get along with all the materials that are there. So please, our people in Umaya, Akure, Sokoto, Kaduna, keep calling the numbers and get the materials for your spiritual nourishment and upliftment. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. In Jesus' name, amen.